what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 wrestlers who should have had custom title belts by parts for unknown man uh i am in agreement certain talent definitely deserved or should have gotten uh, like a a custom belt that kind of fit their theme not everybody but certain talent that you know they're like the number one in the company they're super over um it's cool when they have their own customization like their belt is customized in a certain way you know, especially if it fits the theme of the wrestler not everyone you know I'm, I'm all for the company keeping some type of traditional look but having something that you know signifies them you guys remember the spinner belt that was you know john cena's thing he had the spinner belt he you know spinners was a thing back then so he had the spinner united states championship then when he won the wwe championship he turned into a spinner a lot of people were okay with it at the time but as the years went by people didn't like it they didn't yeah you know they weren't big fans of it but it sold a lot for the uh for the kids and they sold a lot of replicas and if you guys remember edge ended up winning the title and he had the rated r superstar logo on the middle of the belt i thought that was a nice touch to his title reign so we're gonna check this out man appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel let's get right into this one get your belts and belt related content here folks come one come all get your belts they won't hold your pants up but they'll make you look cool unless they've got a hideous <laughs> demon face on them and that's a statement that can be used about the fiend and jeff hardy isn't that oh handy? wow most custom wrestling belts are a bit crap changing the colors a la miro and scorpio sky can be simple and fun when it comes to major alterations wrestling's track record of fashion is a bit less than perfection for mm -hmm. every smoking skull title you have a rated r spinner for every e i liked i didn't have a problem with the rated r spinner but i definitely one of my favorite custom is the smoking skull belt i love that belt co-warrior hemp belt you have a tommy dreamer new york hardcore title oh. state of this tommy Whoa. but the question remains should more people have been given custom belts why not we needed a list topic and you people bloody love belts according to our analytics why do you keep watching videos about them some of these might be dumb ideas but it's just a bit of fun i'm adam hailing from parts fun known these are 10 wrestlers who should have had custom title belts and while you're here subscribe to parts subscribe fun to known and watch Parts all of our other belt-based content. We've done <laughs> lists about worst titles. We've done lists about other custom belts. And Laurie's even done an explain video about how they're made, which is lovely. Watch watch that number 10 the undertaker specifically mm, biker that's a good undertaker. one biker why not make that bit yeah. of nonsense a bit more fun that's a good one. everyone likes to clown on mark cali for that's a Valley really good for his one. limp biz kit era and for good reason look at him look at him and his soon-to-be libertarian brother the demon hanging out with a <laughs> libertarian <biker>. brother <laughs> anyway the undertaker only had one reign as world champion while riding his chopper to the ring beating hulk hogan for the belt in may of 2002 before dropping it to the rock two months later i'm sure that iteration of the belt only just been introduced but I reckon we could have seen something truly offensive to the eyes if the underbiker fully committed to the bit. It could be cool, it probably wouldn't be, but it could be. No real reason why this that would have been good. Belt can be a I would have been all down for that. Skull and a little less Jay Briscoe headband and Whoa. bad flag. And in our hypothetical world of hypothetical nonsense, biker taker is a cool biker belt. Why not? Number nine, Kane. Speaking mm. of that demon brother, this one would probably rely on Kane holding the WWF title for more than just one day in yeah. 1998. So we're really getting hypothetical here. But considering the stakes involved for his title match with Steve Austin, it king of the ring 98 where kane had said if he lost he would have had to set himself on fire <laughs> it'd be neat as hell if even for one night if kane emerged having set the world title on fire imagine him with a custom title belt all melted and disfigured in a moment of tormented that would be actually pretty cool it would have fit with his character kane loves him some fire him setting up setting the belt on fire and it's kind of like warped and burnt and like melted a little bit that's a good idea man that wwe definitely should have capitalized on that pyromancy kane should have had more of a run as a top monster in the mm -hmm. end year than he got but a long run as world champion with a belt mutilated to be as disfigured as him would have been a ton of fun to play with for the monster that did such great storytelling without many words number eight yep. cesaro because tempest really wanted just one european wrestler to turn the united states <laughs> championship into the European Championship. That Cesaro would be had a pretty interesting. quick rise to mid-card gold in 2012, debuting after WrestleMania and winning the title on the SummerSlam pre-show in a match where Santino Sock Papa refused to cooperate with him because it was in love with Aksana. Wasn't the PG era just... Oh, boy. That's... I know some of y'all fans of Santino. I just I just couldn't get with the... I just couldn't get with... His, he had some funny moments, not going to lie, but it's just like, bro shit like that bro what, what are we talking about what, what is happening here 
fucking awful. But after winning the gold, Cesaro completely plateaued. He lost a staggering amount of singles matches despite being champion. Makes sense. Being a mid-card champion was a death sentence in PG era WWE. Uh -huh. But his whole character at the time was that he was a man from Europe. He would say words in five different languages every week. He was paired with Oksana. What better way to cap all this off than by defacing the US title, making it the new European championship that in classic been cool. Lance Storm WCW fashion until someone could beat him for it. Number that seven, cool. Triple H. Because who better to commission a custom belt than those in charge? Yep. Triple H didn't do much with his final WWE championship reign in 2016 outside of an excellent match at Roadblock against Dean Ambrose. Can we just say that match they had, Dean Ambrose, Triple H at Roadblock. That was so good. That match was fantastic. And I think a lot of us, majority of us, would have been so happy if Dean would have won it. There was a few times we thought Dean was going to win it. If Dean would have won that match there and we would have had Roman versus Dean, the main event of WrestleMania that year would have been 10 times better because they have history. They don't, that would have been good. That they could have told a brilliant story, and you definitely could have turned Roman heel there. Oh, bro. But yeah, they, they wanted to go Roman, Triple H, and you saw how that happened, y'all. Ambrose and a dog ass match with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And what would make his reign a little more unique? An ultra serious belt for an ultra serious uh -huh. man. We debated whether Tripp's authority run or his McMahon Helmsley run would be better suited for a makeover, but in the end, it really did come down to the fact that the Big Eagle belt is oh, good belt. and the current belt is bad, which may come up again in a little while. You know that if Triple H was to have his own authority custom belt made, that would have been very cool. least have had not a half ass design during his. If he could have had like more of a, if you guys know the NXT championship uh at the time uh nxt uk championship uh it has more of that regal presence like more of that royalty presence if they could have did a custom belt with the authority kind of this uh this regal type you know like king and kingdomship type belt i think that would have been perfect for him King of Kings here, you'd have to imagine we get something to back up that moniker. And before people get on me, yes, I know that everyone gets their belts customized by the little side plate things, but a custom championship that does not same. make. Number six, broken Matt Hardy. Move over, disgusting Jeff Hardy demon <laughs> face. You're about to have company. While it's yet to work quite as well since, the broken Matt Hardy character worked to properly make the Hardys and TNA itself relevant again in uh -huh. the mid-2010s. With that in mind, it's ludicrous to think that Matt Hardy didn't get a run as TNA World Champion during That's the most crazy. Easy too. successful period he had two reigns in the lead up to his breaking point but after that he never saw the belt again in a hypothetical world of hypothetical nonsense let's change that with matt getting the run he should have mm -hmm. had as the top star of tna at the time with that run would certainly have come a uh, unique belt to match belt his gimmick too undoubtedly been a matt hardy artistic vision something i do not have my third eye open wide enough to visualize properly at its worst it would have been another painting made by jeff that we could send to the depths of wrestling hell where it could keep <laughs> his fucking brother fucking company number five New Day. These belts are about selling merch, right? Well, why mm -hmm. not give the kings of tag team merch making another excuse to shell some more? The New Day sold cereal. They sold unicorn horns. Which is crazy. They may have sold pancakes. I don't know if those ever officially hit the merch stand, but if they did, you can bet your bootios the New Day would try to sell them. So in a more traditional wrestling merch oh my sales God. pick. Bro, I, I, here's the thing about the tag belts, and I hope Triple H does at some point bring the new tag belts. I hated these designs. These fucking... Penny belts. I legit hated them. I thought they just looked awful. And then when they ended up bringing, they separated them again because I believe this is when they unified them. Then they separated them. They just separated them with the straps different, and then they now they look like quarters. I hate the tag belts. They look awful. They just have different straps for the different brands. I hated these, and then I hated. I, I do not like the tag belts. They need to change them. They just look so... They look like dimes and quarters, bro. They don't look impressing, impressive at all. So I think that would have been cool if they would could have capitalized on them since they were big merch pushers. Bro, them having like some type of custom New Day 
championship, that shit would have sold like crazy, bro. At any point in their decade-long run together, the New Day should have introduced custom tag team belts. Forget for a moment that the WWE tag designs have also been quite bad Awful. for the last 12 years now, but there are so many possibilities here. You could have had a unicorn belt with horns on them, although now I say that out loud, yeah, that would start to that don't a sound a right, but... too much for my liking, so let's move on and move on quickly. Their could have been better. heel run could have seen them put smiley faces and other such symbols of positivity over the titles as their continued way of sticking it to the fans and their constant negativity or honestly just belts with a big old bunch of color thrown in to match their fun attires tell me yeah. you wouldn't sell new day belts wwe you'd sell more than you sold that six grand fiend face that's crazy i did not know that shit was that much bro i remember when he got like that custom belt but i was like i didn't know it was like almost seven grand that's ridiculous mm -mm. uh Maybe to some who, you know, like the collector's item. I, nah, I'm not paying that much for that. Day, In hell. Number four, Chris Jericho. A more current answer now, just to really lean into how absurd it is to say the words Chris Jericho Ring of Honor World Champion. The current <laughs> that is original wild. iteration of the ROH World Championship, while classic, is a little bit bland and doesn't mm -hmm. quite mesh with the over-extravagant sports entertainer shtick Chris Jericho has been doing in 2022. So what mm -hmm. better way to shit on the legacy of the very that traditional, would be very smart. serious pro wrestling Ring of Honor title than by making making it decked out in the gaudiest manner possible. That would be perfect. You're literally giving them, you're giving Jericho ideas. That would be perfect. His gimmick, sports entertainment. We all know, we're just talking about it, how he, a lot of people stopped liking the John Cena spinner belt. He could have did something like that, but not exactly the spinner belt, but made it more like, sports entertainment ish type belt than the classic ROH. That would have that would be perfect actually. You know what? It'd be hideous and everyone would hate it. And I hate the taste of the words about to leave my lips, but fuck it. It's a bit of fun. Make it a spinner belt. And I just said it. I just said it, bro. Oh my God. The heat he would get would be Chef's kiss, bro. An H on the other and a big spinning O right in the middle. Oh it would God. be, frankly, the exact type of heel heat that Chris Jericho is looking that for. That would with be his good. Character, and now I will only be a little disappointed if we don't see that. Number three, CM Punk. Mm. From one spinner belt to the next, there's no reason whatsoever that the most anti establishment wrestler WWE had seen since Steve Austin a decade earlier should have returned to Raw with John Cena's. King spinner belt yeah. in his hand. At the very least, he should not have carried it for 434 days. Punk himself has said that he should have been the one to unveil a new WWE Championship instead of the he Rock. He should He's have. 100% correct on that. Of course, this makes it less of a custom WWE title belt and more of a rechristened WWE title belt, but semantics make lists tedious, and this is a hypothetical list about hypothetical bollocks. He should bollocks. have definitely so do had his own custom WWE belt. WWE didn't do a lot of things right with their handling of CM Punk at the time, but nope. holding the spinner belt that was several years out of style may seem like an insignificant one, but it could have been a little change that would have had so much more to his mm -hmm. legacy of a title run i don't know that introducing a big logo would have helped because of the whole anti-authority thing he could have had a different title but a spinner belt was always john cena's belt yep. it's got the word champ written on it for god's sake yep. that's, what it's about. that's that's really when you think of the spinner belt you think of john cena and that belt had been like that for so damn long like that's why this fucking John had it so many times. <laughs> was at the time he needed a belt to match his identity. Number two, Roman uh, Reigns. Unify the fucking belts. Yes. Why'd you give him both if you didn't want to? The big logo belt has been around for a very long time at this point, all the way back to 2013, if mm -hmm. you consider The Rock's big logo belt to be the same one, even if you don't know very similar. And it feels like time for the WWE Championship and the Blue Universal title to get a fresh the Blue coat Universal. of paint. Doesn't mean just changing the color of the belt no. again. We seem primed for a proper undisputed disputed championship belt to be awarded to Roman Reigns after WrestleMania 38, 20 years after Triple H received the new undisputed belt after WrestleMania 18. You could make it a tribal belt, even of some sort, play mm -hmm. up the tribal chief character even more. It's the best story in WWE right now, for God's sake. And even if you don't want to do all of that, just give him a new belt anyway. Stop that. Why, is he, why is he still carrying both? Why don't WWE know what to do right now? You shouldn't have given him both if you didn't yep. want him to have both. And number one. Yup, he is speaking truth, bro. They, uh, I don't even know if they really still have a plan. Honestly, if you're not going to unify the belts like you said you was, then you might as well just split it and just have Roman. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Have Roman keep the universal, change it, something. I mean, the dude's about to have the title for over 800 days, the universal championship, bro. It deserves some type of change, something, bro. This is just, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe the networks have something to do with it. Fox, like, you know, I want them. Let's keep the, the belt blue because it signifies Fox. I don't know. They need to do something because he's walking around with these two big W belts. And it's like, bro, either put one on Raw, which you don't be on like that, or do something. Combine them together, man. I'm in agreement with Adam on this one. On AJ Styles. Should AJ Styles have gotten a custom WWE Damn championship? Damn right. Not really. Should he have gotten a custom TNA championship? Maybe, but probably not. No dear I listener, we are aiming to piss off the people most piss offable today because AJ Styles should have had himself a custom IWGP heavyweight hmm. championship and Tempest just shriveled up and died in a corner. Custom might be a bit of a stretch here because a full-on redesign of a belt for one person may not work perfectly with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Me personally, I think he definitely could have deserved uh, uh, a custom type build in WWE during his title run more traditional presentation of fan base but at the very least seeing as bullet club were the spiritual succession to the nwo at the time they were doing mm -hmm. things in the company that no other wrestlers were doing with total disrespect spray painting and maybe even vandalizing the most beautiful belt in all of professional wrestling would undoubtedly draw wicked heat for aj styles the wicked leader of this group of wicked boys aj styles was a great iwgp champion in 2014 and 2015 and would have been the perfect candidate to be the Face hmm. to deface the place and that's our list what wrestler do you not bad i mean personally i do think aj Styles should have had a a a custom build man beat john cena he was super over uh if you beat the face of the company and you're super over like that i think you should at least have some type of variation to it kind of signals a changing of the times that's why i say that every wrestler should get a custom belt you know in their title run but certain wrestlers should depending on the storyline depending on their character how over they are like i think certain wrestlers and depending on the length of their title reign if your title reign is it like for example if you i think you can tell if a person a wrestler gets a new championship in a sense or like a championship where well they win the title and they you can tell like as soon as they change it that they're probably gonna have it for a while because you're not gonna make a new championship belt custom to them for them to drop it just a couple of months later it's probably gonna have a long title reign i think that can benefit and it, it, it will just it'll be something as a collector's item and it'll just give their title reign that extra bit of spice like yeah man you know what i'm saying remember the aj style custom belt or you remember the cm punk custom belt i mean we all remember the bone uh uh skull and bones custom belt so that's just my personal opinion granted i know wwe want to try to keep things uniform and stuff like that but certain wrestlers and their characters definitely deserve that extra uh customization to their title reign so it comes off more memorable in my opinion so comment down below let me know what are some other wrestlers you feel like should have gotten a custom title belt like uh, uh like for their title reign it should have been a custom belt for them let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 100k i appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace